This bug was flying around my house on 30 May 2016. I'm uncertain whether it's a moth or a caddis fly. It looks a bit like this bug, but I couldn't find any photos of bugs that matched it more exactly. Most caddis flies have tent-like wings, but this bug's wings are more flat and not especially hairy. Anyway, for this video I'll assume it's a caddis fly, but that might be wrong. Caddis fly larvae are aquatic, but my house is hundreds of meters away from any pond or stream. Maybe this bug flew in from far away, or maybe it's larvae hatched in a vernal pool closer to home. The Wikipedia article explains, quote, The caddis flies are an order, Trichoptera, of insects with approximately 7,000 described species. Also called sedge flies or rail flies, they are small, moth-like insects having two pairs of hairy, membranous wings. They are closely related to Lepidoptera, moths and butterflies, which have scales on their wings. The larvae of many species use silk to make protective cases of gravel, sand, twigs, or other debris. The name Trichoptera comes from Greek, hair plus wing. The adult stage of caddis flies, in most cases, is very short-lived, usually only one to two weeks, but can sometimes last for two months. Most adults are non-feeding and are equipped mainly to mate. Once mated, the female caddis fly will often lay eggs enclosed in a gelatinous mass by attaching them above or below the water surface. Eggs hatch in as little as three weeks. Fossil caddis flies have been found in rocks dating back to the Triassic. The pupil cases made by caddis flies can be viewed in terms of their fossil records that date back to 250 million years. End quote. This page says, quote, Caddis flies are aquatic insects found in fresh water. They are probably best known by fly fishing enthusiasts who tie lures to resemble both the flying adult and aquatic larval life stages. Ecologically, they are an important dietary component of fishes in these streams, while scientifically their presence or absence in water bodies is used as an indicator of water quality. End quote. 